the world of biology is always exciting and for a research enthusiast just like you who is just getting started with in the research career it's all dreamy right we all want to become great scientists right so i'll take names of around 10 scientists right now okay and um, 10 scientists and you have to visualize them and think how can you become one among them okay and then i'll tell you the steps at the end of this video on how can you actually become one of them right so let's start with um, the one which comes in our mind the first one is okay jennifer doudna right so about jennifer doudna she is a biochemist molecular biologist she um, co-developed crispr cas9 right along with um, emmanuel charpentier so now how can you become jennifer doudna or how can you become one among her research lab members right or let's talk about george church so george church is a genetist and geneticist and uh, molecular engineer and he has significant contributions to the field of synthetic biology a lot of synthetic biology subscribers we have right genome sequencing also he has uh, contributed to as well as genome editing right or let's talk about fen zhang so fen zhang is a molecular biologist who co-developed crispr cas9 and he has made significant contributions to neuroscience also or eric lander he is a mathematician geneticist significant contribution to the field of genomics and and he was also a part of human genome project right or let's say um, you have craig venter now he is one of my ideals craig venter he's a biologist entrepreneur he played a key role in the human genome project and he works in uh, genomics and synthetic biology how can you become one among his lab members or maybe he himself right leroy hood now nobody can become leroy hood in one day right but you should know that he is a biologist who made significant contributions to systems biology and played a key role in the human genome project project so how can you become among all these six whatever i said six or seven yeah seven i told you or i'm sure you you, have, you must have heard of james watson right watson crick model right so he he co discovered the structure of dna right so it's not that he was early and he did it and now you can't do because the structure of dna is already discovered the science and the biological science is so exciting and so many new things can happen that you know the other day a student i was talking to and she said i want to use the gene which gets impacted in psoriasis and i want to use that to heal faster i was like wow that's amazing uh, concept or let's talk about francis collins he's a geneticist uh, uh, you know he has played a key role in a human genome project uh, he's currently the director of uh, national institute of health last i checked rudolf janish is their biologist contributions to the field of stem cell research yeah genetic editing randy w jetle he is an epi uh, epigeneticist who has made significant contributions to epigenetics and study of how environmental factors help or you know impact genetic expression so yeah gene expression so i told you i think 11 uh, scientist names and what they have done right i think all these are incredible names and i think you should have you sh your name should be among one of these right so how can you become one one among them so i'm going to chat out or outline some four to five pointers for you quickly the first thing which i have observed so i have done a research thorough research on all these people and i have concluded that they all had a very solid very solid education in the field of biology they reached out they worked in the best of the educated themselves well like they updated their knowledge like anything and they reached to the penultimate of success that's the reason so the foundation is your basic science foundation is your bachelors the foundation is your masters right that has to be super solid so why if you are in bachelors or if you are in masters or maybe you are just getting started after plus 2 remember that your foundation has to be strong when the foundation is strong next one pursue higher education even if phd okay do it don't hesitate like okay phd mein 5 saal lagega see the life is going to be there for 70 years right if 5 years takes uh, you know it takes or i think nowadays it takes 4 years also if it if 4 to 5 years it takes for phd how does it matter it if if it improves 65 years of your life right so do it the third point which i have is gain research experience okay gain research experience through internships and workshops and research projects and now it doesn't need to be uh, offline one even if it is a online one do it okay every hour and every minute counts okay 
as you inch towards your bachelor's or master's final years or you know by phd the more you learn the more you apply the more you grow and that's what these scientists did right next is build a solid and strong foundation of mentors and network so that the moment you need an opportunity everybody will give you now another thing have a grander vision so that your network supports that grander vision don't just go and say hey give me a job your network won't help you if you say I dream of making this uh, in biosciences. Ca can anyone help me? Somebody will volunteer. So have a grander vision and approach people. They will support you. Okay. Now, quickly, let's, let's move on to the next point, which I have for you is attend conferences, attend workshops, virtual or real, doesn't matter. But as long as you're learning, very important. Publish research papers. That's my sixth point. Publish research papers in high impact journals because that way you can apply into bigger labs and bigger labs will value you. And the last one is, you know, Craig Winter, entrepreneur, Jennifer Dodner. So, you know, consider pursuing entrepreneurship. There's no harm because the ultimate aim of science is to make money. You should. There's no harm in saying that, right? So if you are a scientist, if you become a scientist, one among them, use that, okay? Use that to become an entrepreneur and earn billions of dollars. Right. So that's my message for you. I want your name among these this list in the next 10 to 20 years. And if that has to happen, then you need to build a solid foundation. You have to attend a lot of workshops, conferences, virtual or real. You have to publish papers. You have to work in several projects. You'll have to hustle and struggle. And in every hustle, every struggle, you'll find Biotechnica and Shekhar Suman right there standing at your back to support you, mentor you, guide you, because it's our duty, obligation, and responsibility to make you successful. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.